What's up? Welcome to the first ever live show of Mamak Sessions. I never thought this day would actually happen, but we are in Ikea Damansara. Why? You're about to find out. You know how we always used to complain that our intro is very, very long? Yeah. And then our guests will be so awkward. <laughs> I know where this is because going. Because it's a minute of music and we just stare at the person's eyes. Now we have about 40 of them in this room. <laughs> so even awkward. more awkward now. <laughs> it's even more awkward. I was, I was just looking around the, you know. I, don't, I, like, oh. I didn't even dare look up at the crowd because it's like so. You're going to make the eye We need that. a new theme song. Right? Yeah, we do. I did, I did. I did. Because and I will produce the theme song. No, no. <laughs> He's going to sing it as well. He's going to be the guitar. Jin was from Hits FM. No, 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 no. no. He owns Ginny. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Before, before we move along, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time we're doing a live show. And we are at Akea Damansara with a live audience! <laughs> For the first time, I don't have to press a button of the applause sound effect. We have real people actually clapping. Yeah, yeah. But what they don't see in, on the cameras is that there's someone behind there with the card that says applause. <laughs> you, know, you, know it sounds, it, applause. you know what it feels like? It feels like a sitcom. Like got, like yeah, yeah. Sitcom, like right? those live recording. Right? It's like yeah. a low budget sitcom, but okay. It's yeah. high budget, okay? Oh, sorry, high budget. They had yeah. to build IKEA here. <laughs> All right, it's high budget. These props we had to buy it yesterday. That's oh yeah, why. that's right, that's right. right. Everything here, it's just being it's built for today's, show. It's for today's show. It's amazing. So we want to introduce ourselves to uh, the people who are watching us here and for the people live streaming, uh, live streaming, streaming us on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts and on Google. Uh, my name is Jin. Hi, my name is Shufei. I'm Ryan. And that's Joseph. Stop <laughs> saying <laughs> Sorry, my name is Joseph. Hey guys. What's yeah, up? and it's a really, really, really an honor to kind of be here today, uh, speaking to you guys. But uh, why are we here? Because uh, IKEA is actually having a sleepover. So I just want to talk a little bit about the whole sleepover thing because it's a big deal. So the whole nation is actually having this IKEA sleepover event right now. So IKEA Damantara, Tabrao, Icharas. When I speak of Charas, do you remember that campaign that IKEA did, like get Charas to Charas? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get your ass wild. to get your ass. ass. Okay. I don't want to go too much because I might be borderline saying something wrong, mm -hmm. but it was the campaign. Hey, if you can cast, I also can. Hey, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> so, okay. Ikea Sleepover is uh, an exclusive one night event. So, this is pretty cool because this is the only chance in your wildest fantasies that you can sleep over the Ikea. When you were a kid, you always wanted to basically, hey, let's try Juri Juri Maso Ikea and see how, what happens. No, the, the security guards here are very efficient. Okay. They will kick you out. But today, you get to do it for absolutely free. So give a big round of applause to Ikea, everybody. Yeah! Um, okay, so it's, it's, uh, it's an event for Ikea family members. And, uh, and we are basically broadcasting live here. And the reason why they're having this Ikea sleepover event is because Ikea wants to promote the importance of sleep. And we all know sleep is very, very important. Yeah. I, I can attest to that because I've got two kids. Sleep is very important. <laughs> so when you don't have kids- Can't relate, sorry, man. Oh, okay, sorry. You, 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 you're like staring at me, like, like <laughs> you're about to give you an answer. Like, I, I don't know. Great, you How many kids, kids <laughs> you have in the closet, Joseph? <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. No, it's, it's I not- I have some in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You, know, you, know, you know, when I look at my kids sleep, I get jealous. I know what you mean. It's like children, they have the ability to just knock out anywhere. Yeah. yeah at any on time. my shoulder, on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> like Actually, that sounds like me. In the mama, when thing, like people watching football, they're just like. Actually, yeah. that sounds like me. I sleep everywhere. Yeah, you know, Shoe face sleeps everywhere, yeah, by the way. Everywhere. And she sleeps in a way where her eyes closes half. So you don't know whether she's looking at you or she's sleeping. Oh, so that's yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, you will talk to her for about like 50 minutes to realize that, oh, she's sleeping. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> sleep is very important. And Kia wants to be a part of better sleep, better life for everyone. And Kia provides the best solution for quality sleep, by the way, with a wide array of products. And Kia covers uh, in terms of comfort, lighting, temperature, air quality, noise, colors and furnishing, of course, right? Every time, okay, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Every time you move into a new house, Kia is your best friend. 
Yeah. yeah. Ryan just moved yeah, in. Yeah. yeah. Congrats, yeah. Ryan. I, you, dude, I know this IKEA like the back of my head. I've been here so much. But in the they last just three changed months. the layout recently, or not? They did. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, they did. I literally like yeah. noticed when they're like, oh, that that moon, that moon <laughs> room thingy, the asteroid room. That's new. They had a uh, what's it called again? They built up like a fancy small little cafe at the side yes. as well. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it's up the escalator, turn right to the cafe for the meatball. Oh, yeah, Maybe yeah. you shouldn't be here, Jin. No, Maybe no, no, it's no. just the three of us because we are hardcore IKEA, Ikea fans. fans hey, hey, are you even an IKEA family member? Yeah. Don't put me oh, on your side. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no, you can't do this. I so have it on my Apple phone already. Did that? Like that come oh, yeah, on, already. Same, IKEA family member. Same. Yeah. Did, done. So of course, in, in, in the best interest of sleep. So today's topic is going to be about sleep. Yes. How do you sleep at night? I don't. Why? I work for you. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's true. It's I okay, guys. He don't believe me like that. Don't worry. Don't need to call HR or anything. <laughs> because there's none. <laughs> Oh, we're going over the top. You can't do this. Maybe it was a bad idea to have these fellas on the show. Can you see my glasses fogging up right now? It's not, it's not because I'm hot. It's because I'm freaking anxious. Yeah. So sleep is very important. And one of the topics that we want to talk about, we were having this little, because uh, when, when we were invited by Akira to come over and say, hey, we want you guys to kind of have a live show. But, you know, the theme is about sleeping. And I'm like, oh, Okay. Um, what can we possibly talk about when it comes to sleeping? And then I thought we were having this little huddle. Uh, and when I, when I say huddle, I mean WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> Sending links and ideas and stuff like that. And then we realized uh, I had this little conversation with my wife a long time ago. We had a friend who was a dream interpreter. Where's he now? Sorry, what? A dream, dream interpreter. Okay, 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 I speak Malaysia. A dream interpreter. You like to dream, make up jobs dream nowadays. Translator. Uh, a yeah. So hey, a dream no, translator. It's a thing. It's a thing. No, it's no, a thing, dude. A thing. No, it's, it's a, a thing. thing. Okay, okay. Say what, what you want. Science is there, guys. Come on. Aha. You, it's funny yeah. you say that. There is a scientific. There's a. There apparently, according to a very reliable, a, little, a very reliable source, and my reliable source is Google. There's a bit of, <laughs> <laughs> there's a bit of science to that dream interpretation as well. Psychological, in some way, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? It's it's actually very interesting. You're and just afraid to face your dreams, bro. Yeah. Maybe. Don't you, okay, don't you have, don't you, uh, okay, at one point of time, okay, not one point of time, don't you at any time sleep and then you dream about something and you wake up, oh, wow, what does that mean? Wait, I, Wait but do you even better, remember but, better question, I think, is like, don't, do you like dream of the same thing frequently? Is that like a theme in I your dream? Usually, no, I think random. 10 times I sleep, maybe nine times I wake up without a dream. And oh, I okay. I start my day. No, maybe because I don't have a dream. But no, but sometimes you forget your dreams. You yeah, know? so they said that like in the first, cause when you dream and then you wake up because of the dream, right? In the first half an hour, you kind of like forget 90% of your dream. Exactly, learn yeah. that from Inception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Inception is not a science, it's not a it's research to me. paper. No, that's the thing. <laughs> it's, okay, it's a it's, very high budget film, that's it. So. And it's funny because some of my dreams have been made into films that I've made on my YouTube channel actually. Oh really? Yes. Which one? Uh, <laughs> near, 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 <laughs> yet so near yet far. Near yet far. Okay, okay. Uh, just for context, it's, it's a it's a film about uh, a guy who wakes up every day and he takes yes. a train. He has amnesia. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's amnesia. Yeah, yeah, so he amnesia. sees a camera on the train and then he realizes that his photos are on the tra on the camera. And then he realizes that he's basically lost his memory because of an accident. So the wife or the girlfriend is trying, and he wakes up every day in the same routine. So I dreamt about that. And the first thing I did was give me a computer. And I wrote, I wrote that. That's a really deep dream. You want, you want to know what I dream about? What? You know, there was one time I dreamt, right? That my, my house was flooding. Oh, sorry, my house sorry. was what? flooding. And then I needed to breathe, right? I cannot breathe underwater. So I went around my house looking for inhaler, you know. You know the one for asthma? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why in my in my dream, right? I thought the inhaler can save me Are from drowning. Are you asthmatic? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's like a really random dream. I don't know why I dreamt that, but yeah. All, all I know is, right, if you're dreaming, yep. and if you guys realize if you're dreaming, and you dream, you suddenly need to go to the toilet. You go. Wake up. You wake go. Up. Yes. <laughs> Don't go in your dream. Wait. Trust me. How many times that happened to you? <laughs> what? Every time I go to the toilet, oh, no, no, I'm out. I'm is, that where, is that why you shopped the IKEA <laughs> <laughs> after that? I need a new sheet. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Yeah, yeah. I ate it eight years old, I like remember. This, this one, yeah, when I was young, this one lesson I will never ever forget. If in your dream, you're going to the toilet, wake up, man. I remember that, immediately. That, I remember that dream because my whole household made such a big deal out of it. So in my dream, I dreamt I was peeing in a public toilet, the stand up one. Uh. And then I was like, wow, yay. <laughs> then after that, I was like abruptly woken up. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was like so. Okay, Wait, you were standing up. Uh? I no, I wasn't. I was sleeping, and then okay, here's the thing. Okay, everybody will know now. So I slept with my mom until I was twelve. So my mom oh, was. You peed <laughs> on your mom? <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom. No, my no. I didn't pee on my mom. My mom. My mom was. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was the one. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Sorry. That's not what we're supposed yeah. to be talking about. Not supposed to shim shim. Wait. So my mom was the one abruptly waking me up. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah. So and then after that, pair, uh, for six no, for about maybe two weeks, she lined the entire bed mm-hmm. with glad wrap, <laughs> so that <laughs> if if it were to happen again, the the mattress would be completely fine. Unless, of course, if you bought a mattress from Ikea, that's a different store. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Not, not, not. But okay, <laughs> can we go back to the topic? We are okay. completely okay. sweet life off the center. So, okay. So why I brought out about dream interpretation, because it's quite funny, because Michelle had a friend, my wife, um, who actually interpreted dreams. And you know, back then Michelle was dating me and the one thing she would dream about is her boyfriend cheating on her. It's the number one dream that most girlfriends would probably, you see one person laughing already. It's like, the <laughs> girls will always dream about their boyfriends cheating on them, correct or not. Then you wake up, you slap your boyfriend. You cheated on me! When? <laughs> In right? my dream? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. So, uh, and, the parent, and, and, and to think that the reason why you dream of that dream is because you're insecure or whatever, or you're, they say that dreams tell you something, you know, it's a sign or whatever, not. So apparently it's not, huh? there's a science, okay? So, so what was the sign? Oh, really? It, it doesn't show the dream, that you Okay, so they will say that the dream is not, uh, the dream is not really about your ex or the person, the dream is actually about you. Yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. it's about mm. you. So you are insecure? No, no, no not, not really. No, not you, the dreamer who dream, not the dream So Michelle person. was insecure. Yeah. About herself. Yeah, about yeah, herself. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, not about Jean. Yeah. No, not Jean is not. Ins- she, Michelle cannot be insecure for Can Jean. Can we call this interpreter friend? I think we're confused. <laughs> no, she she fled to Hong Kong, so you know. Oh, we, no. I would have loved to get her on the show, though. It's pretty interesting. Why did she fled to Hong Kong? Was it a dream as well? No, it's not. But like, uh, there are certain things where I kind of looked up online. And it's actually something that I'm not sure whether you guys have uh, these dreams. I have had it before. Um, have you ever dreamt that your teeth is loose? Oh my god, I wrote that down. Yeah, and your teeth is about to fall out. Yeah, any yeah, of you yeah. ever dreamt huh? about that before? I dreamt about that a lot. Yeah, you have, right? Wait, ah. it's, it's, it's like when I look in the mirror. Something? Yeah, it's supposed to mean I've something. I've never had this dream. Okay, so let me Wait, tell so you. guys all have had this dream before. I've had yeah. it, yeah. Whoa. It's like, it's, it doesn't fall out, but it's loose. Oh, oh. mine is like, I, my teeth is completely gone. Eh. Oh, How really? many? Just one or like? Yeah, like, like maybe one or like two. Yeah, like a grandma. Or, uh, and 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 it happens. No, it like happens. It happens very often yeah. for me to actually remember it, and it's like a very scary thing. But in the in that dream, I would feel really scared because like I'm losing my teeth, right? But after I wake up, and I will just touch my teeth to see. <laughs> <laughs> really, really, yeah, yeah. So, do you do you know what's the what's the explanation behind that interpretation? Um, they say you're insecure about yourself. Oh, really? Why everything is so insecure about yourself? Why? What about the one where you sleep halfway and then you fall down and you wake up? That's different. Oh, is that's that insecure different, as well? That's, no, that's called positioning. Oh, that's <laughs> not insecure? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure, guys. What what is called, how uh, is that positioning? It's called a hypnic jerk. I hypnic, no, he said fall down. Oh, sorry, the fall down one is you it. You fall down no, and you wake it's up it's after that. Oh, okay, wait, wait. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I I have that. So falling teeth, what was yours again? I mean, I dreamt that. I mean, I read that it's about insecurity. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like how you view yourself. So how? So who is right now? Because falling teeth relates to vanity. One theory is that dreams about your teeth reflect your anxieties about your appearance and how others perceive you. Your teeth. Yeah, so that insecurity. Help to convey an image of attractiveness and play an important role in the game of flirtation, whether he has flashing, those pearly whites kissing or necking. So yeah. So in the end, like. When you have a dream, it's just insecurity. That's it. Yeah, it yeah like everything it. is it. everything. Okay. So, two, two two so every, anyone can be a dream printer, is it? <laughs> dream printer. <laughs> no. I don't know. Dream dream some people, printer, some whatever. people actually go and ask to see what's going on in those. Actually, it feels okay, like okay, this just, this one is not insecurity lah. But there's one kind of dream that I not to not to say constantly have, but I do have it sometimes. It's when like even now right I'm working right I still dream about like I'm missing my exams oh or like I fail my exams yes like I'm rushing to go to an exam or like I forgot that I had an exam and hey, I'm like our dreams there. are very different huh what do you, you have yeah I I do a, mine is a lot of flying oh wow oh. Uh, yeah. you must have an <laughs> exciting like, life <laughs> like, it feels so cool man like literally I literally it's, do not want to wake it's up an it's an insecurity it's an insecurity it's just seems like he lives I'm a scared of being life. tied down <laughs> 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 I need to fly <laughs> 
Wait, is that what they say? No. Is that what they say online? No. Then what do you, what do you I didn't check. Okay. I, thought, I thought I was going to get a dream interpreter tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but anyone else dream of flying before? I'm no? pretty, I'm, I'm pretty the only weird one. I'm ah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. flying, flying. Okay, there's one more, one more dream that you dream of. That Okay, this is what I have dreamt. The few dreams that I've dreamt of is number one. Um, I've always failed my exams. Yeah. Yeah. And and I, t- I always tell this to my mom because, okay, there was one point in time when I was young, or actually now, even now, actually, I came out to the working world. Before I even did uh, the entertainment business, I was working in an office job. Um, I would have dream of me failing my university. Snacks. Yeah. And then after that, you know, I would feel, I would wake up sometimes crying. And then after that, I told my mom, oh, I, 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 what, I dreamt about me failing my, uh, my university and I didn't, I didn't pass or I didn't graduate and stuff like that. And then after that, my mom sat me down. I'm sorry. I was like, oh, why? And she's like, I'm sorry for putting you this trauma. I was trying to push you to kind of like be, yeah, you know, get good grades and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay. But yeah. has that ever uh, happened to you? Who, me? What? Like forgetting your exams or? No, 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 not forgetting. Uh, failing, yes. Oh, you okay. failed before. Uh. Yes, I have failed before. I mean, I mean, ev- so you were like just reliving the memory. Maybe it's a PTSD. It's not a dream, Jin. You're just reliving the memory. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. And, and another dream that I would have, dr- I dreamt on a very, I won't say, re- I, it's, I dreamt it enough to basically understand or remember it is you are running, but no matter how fast your legs are moving, you just go like one kilometer per hour. Huh? So I have never though. had hey. that dream. Oh, you haven't? Has anybody else no. had that dream? Yeah, so we got one, one. Anybody else Wait, has had that what? dream before? I, it's so funny like how like, like um, people, different people from different walks of life can have the same dream. I just find it so but interesting. But you don't. Ex- except for me, like, I guess yeah. I'm the odd one out. Like, I'm just weird that way. But like, like you see it's about the teeth thing that's so oddly specific yeah. and it's such a weird scenario but like it's a common dream I'm like huh I thought flying would be common you know everyone wants to fly but I guess <laughs> not yeah and, and okay nightmare okay so what are some of the dreams that you remember by yourself okay mine is you, you, you've talked about teeth what else failing um, exams failing exams I have random dreams about random people like not even people close to me have you dreamt of us before no dream of what of us before no like, way no no, I have oh. like dreams, right? I don't remember specifically the scenarios, but you'll always there's there's always this one person in my dream, right, that I haven't seen for a very long time. Or maybe like in hindsight I've seen that person somewhere. But if he or she will appear in my dreams. Really? But I don't talk to them at all. Have you ever had a dream? Yeah. And then relieve the dream in real life. Like a deja vu. Like la. a deja vu. Yeah, yeah, of God la. Deja vu God. Yeah, yeah. of course. La. It yeah. Happens all the time. I just had that deja vu when I was in Japan a couple of days ago in Disneyland. Yeah, with my kids. Oh, you're dreaming like you go with your kids, and then yeah. like, when you're really there, it's I like, freaked oh, out. Oh, I'm here. I freaked out a little bit. Yeah, because in that dream, something bad happened. Oh no! Yeah, like a oh, ride, no. like a ride malfunctioned or something. Oh, oh my god, god! Then it happened. No, it no, didn't la, happen. La, it didn't la, happen. La. <laughs> <laughs> you say he deja vu, bro. You yeah, say deja vu. Feeling, feeling, at feeling. That, at feeling. that moment, like that oh. moment, like, oh, I've dreamt about this before, and then and then suddenly it it kind of triggers out that backstory, like oh, taking this 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 memory out, this core memory out, and after it, oh, that I candidly told Michelle, yeah, I dreamt about this place before. And then she's like, is it? Is it? What happens? What happens? I was like, what? 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 Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Ryan? What are some of the dreams that you remember? Uh, very weird dreams. Uh, there's a lot of climbing buildings. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why your dream so adventurous <laughs> one? There's a lot of climbing buildings, uh, flying, um, going into submarines. Um, yeah, I guess my dreams are quite out there, but I, have, I would have some really vivid, very vivid dreams about the people around me as well. Oh, really? Have you yeah. Ever- I dream of I dream like one of my friends died. I'm like, oh, what? yeah. And I woke up. I was like, oh shit. You see, oh yeah, he's alive. Thank God. Mm. It was so vivid. Like I actually thought he died for some reason. I don't know why. You, I read it, and it's never explained in the dream why he died. It's just this guy has died. Now I'm at the funeral already. So I read this online. Uh, also from this dream interpreter. So okay, if you want to go check it out, it's called a to, Dream A to Z. <laughs> So some people, they dream of their deceased uh, loved ones. Mm-hmm. And the reason why they do that is because it's their way of trying to kind of close the doors to, and communicate it with that person. It kind of shows that 
they have never been able to communicate communicate with the deceased when they were alive. Mm. So they are now doing that through their dreams. No, no, no. This guy is alive, right? I know, right, I know, right I know, now. I know, oh, no. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. but I'm just <laughs> segueing it to that because I read somewhere like some people have lost their loved ones and so you know. Yeah, they, you they, dream, they, you they dream, dream about that. your your lost loved ones. Yeah, yeah. So they say that oh, these people are coming back to haunt me in my dreams. You know, they, they will they, like they will say these type of things like you know when you watch movies when someone dies in the movie they'll they'll haunt you in your dreams. So it's not it's not about haunting. It, it's about your. It's about your your awareness of this person, how how connected you are with them. So uh, there's one paragraph I read about uh, how you know they basically dream with these people so that okay, this is I read this story about a a person and their parents. So in real life, they could not always talk to their parents, but because the parents passed away, uh, they were basically in his dreams all over, and he was trying to kind of like make amends through the dreams. Through dreams, uh, yeah, and after yeah. when he when he went to see this person. Uh, this psychological therapist, and then they taught him, and then I think he made, made kind of made amends with them on in a dreams, and, and he became a better person or something like that. Interesting. Yeah, very, 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 very interesting. I had a very. Wait, I'm curious. Yeah, Joseph, dream. that he said nine out of ten times he don't dream. That one time you dream. That one in ten days. My family died. Oh shit! Not really? Yeah. Uh. Yep, that's the only one. Is it always the same thing? It's always the same thing. I think. Um, All right. I don't know how I don't know what can you interpret from a family's death like your entire family died. Hey, hey, insecurity, insecurity. Maybe it's insecurity. Yeah, insecurity yeah, insecurity yeah. of having a lost one. <laughs> it's I read somewhere about that. It's communication. Yeah, some something oh, yeah, with communication maybe. as well. It's communication. Okay. I talk about family death. Someone laughing. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So once again, if you if you just you know we are here at Kia Damansara, and we're talking about dreams, and we have two persons laughing in the bed right now. It sounds pretty wrong, but you know they're having <laughs> two they're, laughing in the bed. Yeah, they were having. They were, <laughs> we, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're having fun in the bed. A couple of them. I mean, a couple. <laughs> this of them. Wrong. It looks like fun. Okay. Can we join? But we can assure we can assure you everything is completely fine. Yeah. Okay, so sleeping from dreams, we move to sleeping rituals. What are the must-dos before you go to sleep? Brush your teeth. Yes. Okay. Right, turn the aircon on, blast it, like the first one hour, at uh, the first Whoa. hour. Oh, oh there's a fly, yeah. Ew, triple Johnny. fan, triple fan speed. Oh. Yeah. 16 degrees and then after that's Whoa, the I do that. Dude, you live in Antarctica, bro. No, no, I switch it off after that. I oh, have okay, sinus. Okay. Oh. I have sinus, so like, I, I need to yeah. be cold. Actually, fun fact, I don't know what you guys know or not. Probably you guys know. Um, the lower the temperature, the easier for you to sleep. Yes, yes. it's true. It's exactly true. Yes. This is what I've been trying to- Hey, Jin, sit more left. Really, Come on. meh? <laughs> 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 that's Listen to them, like, Jin. It's, exactly, for what? It's, exactly, it's exactly what I've been trying to tell, uh, been trying to tell uh, Michelle because Michelle's the type. So I stay quite far away from town. Yeah, it's it's pretty far. It's far enough for the degree to be less than thirty at night, like a bit about twenty seven or twenty six sometimes when you're lucky. Michelle basically turns on the the air conditioning to twenty seven. She doesn't use it as an air conditioner. She uses it as a heater. Oh god! And the is same with her. Cold? Really? You don't? So your aircon is like twenty. Okay, my aircon, right? You know the fan speed is the yeah. lowest. Yes. And then the temperature is twenty six. How dare you? That's a bit high, no? It's so yeah. cold. That's a bit high. 18 is so cold. No, okay. Cold. I used to sleep 18 uh, when I was young. Okay. For some reason, I could tahan. Now, 18 is a bit too cold for me. Like, my sweet spot is about 21, 22. I still need 16. Uh. I, I, really leave it, I leave it on why. until like, I use the timer function. Uh, so, until like 4 in the morning, then it'll turn off. I always have yeah. this argu uh, argument with Michelle um, when it comes to sleeping. So, I like 16-3 fan. <laughs> you also living in Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 63 <laughs> plus, plus, like, you know, if you, you have give me four fans, I'll do four fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 16, 16, three fans with a standing fan blowing at me. Oh, well. God, hey, dude. What's up? Yeah. But what I like to do is, I like to take the. How much is your electric bill, by the way? Uh, <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Some here actually stay with their parents, so lucky. Yeah. 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 Be your parents pay. All uh, of us have to pay ourselves. Aye. And, and, uh, and, and the thing is, when I turn on the aircon to that, kind of temperature, it's cold, right? I like mm. to take the comforter, tick, tick one, and then cover until my neck. That's true though. Like, and then Michelle's like, why are you covering yourself? Don't you like cold? Sorry, comforter, do you individually have, no. you and your wife? No, no. no. Only you share one? Yes. That's the biggest relationship mistake ever. Why? Because oh, Because yeah. you guys will start fighting for the comforter. Well, so you're saying that those me, people should have separate? Huh? Yes. I think, you need to have two. I think I've learned it. You need to have two. Okay, I kind of agree with you in some mm. ways, but 
Uh, also, because if you fart inside, <laughs> you're yeah, 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 yeah. that's why it gets, it gets it's trapped true. in yes, there. Very smelly one. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to smell methane gas in the end of the day, yeah. correct or not? Yeah, just take a light. Have a lighter underneath the blanket. Oh God! <laughs> how many of you? How many of you sleep in Antarctica? Hands up. None. Sixteen degrees. Any Sixteen degrees. Degree people out there. Yes, fantastic. One, two, I'm so three. different from y'all. Twenty-two, you know. twenty-one degrees. Twenty-one, twenty-one and above. Oh. Need to be hot like the outside weather. How many of you got no aircon? At, you don't sleep with aircon at home, fan. Okay. I can. Ah. I can. Are you guys afraid of the cold? Oh, she's afraid of the cold. See? Yeah. Okay, you know right. Yeah. Even if I sleep only with fan, uh, I need blanket on. <laughs> I will what? feel very unsafe. Like Yo, I will if I'm just sleeping sweat, like this bro. without a blanket, right? I will feel like something's gonna like touch your yeah, your like touch me or like, I just don't feel <laughs> safe. Kuchiku, kuchiku. <laughs> yeah. you, God, you see Joseph at the foot of your bed. <laughs> yeah, so you, you so you need a security blanket. Yeah, and you know the blanket, right? Like this is me, and this is the blanket, right? I need to be folded underneath. Underneath, my, your, yeah. Oh, you're the kind oh. where it goes underneath yes. the, the foot. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it can't yeah, be yeah. just like on top of me. It has to be like under me. Yeah. yeah. What's your ritual? My ritual? Yeah. Put the kids to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's funny uh, how I sleep now. So now I sleep on the floor. Oh, nice. Sleep on yeah. the floor. Yeah. Okay. Let me explain. So when I first married Michelle, both of us slept in the bed. When we had our first kid, he slept in between us. Now we've got two kids. I sleep on the floor. So, so the two kids on the bed oh with Michelle. Oh my God, my dad did that too. To you? To us. Like he would sleep on the floor because three of us were on the bed. You know why? Because your dad loves you. Exactly, that's right. <laughs> and then over time, right, me and my mom took over the bed and then my brother and my dad slept on the floor. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, wow. You put your brother there. And, and I came with this <laughs> realization. baby brother. I came with this realization. When you sleep on the floor, it's colder. You know why? Because <laughs> the floor is Cause cold. Because hot air rises. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So for, for Tokyo, you sleep on the floor? Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> Tokyo is, that Japan's a bit different. They've got really big, big beds. Oh no, I mean, I'm talking about our company trip. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> So for everyone again, for those who don't know, oh uh, Jean is bringing all of <laughs> us. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jean no, no, is bringing no, no. us. No, let's take complete the fight. Okay. If you guys want to come, you guys can come as well. Yeah, no, no, no. Do you have a Do you have a sleep ritual? My sleep ritual is I drink my protein shake before <laughs> it's I sleep. Legit, no, is yeah. that good for you? you know? Is it good for you to actually go to sleep with a full stomach? No lah, not. I mean, you when you drink a shake, it doesn't have to be full. But yep. there is no. The myth, the whole myth of eating before 6 p.m. is nonsense. Like, okay? okay. Your body won't tell, oh, it's 6 p.m., calorie come in times two. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> True or not? That's the thing. You eat, as long as you don't get full, you don't get, you know, bloated before you sleep, that's fine. So usually I get a midnight snack and then my midnight snack is like oats and like oat side milk. Oat milk, oat, oh. banana and so oat flavor. That's a very flavor. heavy. Oat, yeah. oat, oat, oat juice oat, 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 and oat, oat. oat powder. Yes. <laughs> That's just a lot so of I take it and I sleep and I I try to switch everything off the in the dark for like at least one hour before I sleep. Wow. Yeah. So with coal and stuff like that as well. Wow. Play play mobile phone or don't play mobile phone? I I play I my sleep we call it sleep hygiene. Okay. okay. Yeah, sleep hygiene. So before it's sleep hygiene is basically what you do before you sleep. Yeah. Correct or not. Um, for me, I try to turn on. I try not to turn on blue light. So my oh. phone after ten p.m. is like yellow, yellow, yellow. light. Yeah, yeah. Them them ugly la when I when I scroll through Instagram. But <laughs> it, sometimes you want to see HD colors, ma. Correct or not? <laughs> you see my my bro here, right? Knows what's up. <laughs> you buy such an expensive phone for what? In the end, true or not? You have to turn. So sometimes if I see what well, nice video, then I see Jin's video. I say, hey, I have to turn on the what. But generally, I. I turn on yellow light a bit okay. more. It's, same, it same. helps me sleep as yeah, well. So same. after like 10, it's yellow light. And I try to switch off everywhere as much as I can. Lah. So okay. Yeah. What about you, Ryan? What's your sleep ritual? Oh my God, it's, it's terrible. I'm going to admit. Yeah. Really? I'm the kind of guy who needs to put on a YouTube video to sleep. Oh, uh, yeah. yes, yes. Like, I'll be like, all right, sleep time. And then I'll find a video. Mm. I, I'm into, a, I mean, Jin knows this, but... People, you guys may not know, like, I'm into a lot of like camera gear and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just find the most technical video where they just talk about specs and everything. And then I just turn that on and I'll go to sleep. Oh. Because it's like, it's relaxing. Interesting enough for me to kind of listen a bit, but boring enough for me to fall asleep. Okay. Yeah, I tend to fall asleep when I get bored and hearing people talk. <laughs> so oh, that's why everyone's so sleeping right now. <laughs> All right, so everyone's sleeping right no, now. No, but like, yeah, you know, like, I, I, used to, I used to have trouble like staying awake in class, so it kind of translated to my sleep or so. So when people just go, nah, 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 uh, yeah, then that's how I fall asleep. Oh. It's, it's quite bad. And one at one point, I was like, I, I took it a step further. I'll play a Whoa. movie 
like full on action movie. Yeah. But I'll close my eyes and I'll imagine the movie in my head by oh. just using the sound. Oh, I used to do that. And then I fall asleep. I used yeah. to Yeah. Okay, I used to do that, but I used to do that with music. I used to play like Linkin music? Park ah. and I pretend I'm on stage. You can fall asleep to that? <laughs> yes, yes, can. Oh. Last yeah. year, I would watch like that. Yeah. And I'll fall asleep. And then you drop in your face. You drop in my face. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't I won't wake up. I'll wake up the next day and I'll look at my phone. Eh, why haven't charged it? Ah <laughs> oh, crap, I didn't. I fell asleep at that. That's the thing. Hey, I'm the I'm the same as him, eh. I need something playing to fall asleep. It's Usually like a lullaby. La. Yeah, but funny thing about this, right? When I was in high school, I couldn't sleep very well, ma. So okay. you know what I did? You know how they have like those one hour like whale sounds and like the beach, like you know the water. Did you try those? I tried those, but I couldn't sleep. Yeah, right. make one for you now, la, Does it work? Whale, whale is okay. <gasps> I've tried it. <laughs> I'm actually, <laughs> to be honest, uh, no, the waves, <laughs> the waves crashing, right? Actually, yeah. quite scary. Yeah. Huh? Like, I close no. my eyes, right? I, I keep okay. thinking like it's gonna be a. Like, yeah. I, I tried that before. It doesn't work. Uh. But when I go to the beach, an actual wave yeah. sound, I can sleep. Easy. Oh. Oh. Easy. But I can, I can nap in the right. middle of the day on the beach with shade, of course. But easy, I can nap there. I thought the wave was going to crash over me. I cannot sleep. Yeah. That I, one. I don't know. It feels very yeah. disturbing. Huh? Rain sounds, I think, okay. No, my, for me, it must be natural. It cannot be like play from the speaker. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Fake idea, yeah. my, my ritual is uh, I'm not sure whether this is a very Malaysian thing and everybody does the same thing. But before I go to sleep, I need a cup of Milo. No? no. Oh, ha! There we go. Somebody's got... Who, el- who, else, who else over here needs a cup of Milo or something hot to drink, lah, basically? It's like, your, yeah, yeah, exactly. We have somebody over there at the back with it. Did you get your Milo yet tonight? No, not yet. It's okay. It's okay. okay. You got hedge to O. <laughs> drink your hedge to O, guys. Hedge to O. Yeah. What's up? And uh, I need to always shower before I sleep. Oh, yeah, same. Yeah. Hey, like, please, everyone, please shower before you sleep. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Wait, but do you shower when you wake up? Yes. yes. Huh? You don't? Some uh? people don't. I do, la, but some people I, they shower the, once. The Quilos, they don't. Like, any Quilo here or not? No. No Quilo, right? Uh, but Ikea's Quilo company, la, so don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but this, okay, this is another H2O. question. La. This is not so much about sleep, but about bed. La. Do you guys have outside clothes and bed clothes? Um, yeah, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, of right. course. Yeah, of course. Yes. God, right. I know some people don't. Like huh? yeah. yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but some people don't even like wear a shirt to sleep for guys, lah. Right? Yeah, no, but I'm talking like let's say just clothes, are Like if uh. I wa- what I'm wearing right now, I cannot lie on my bed with these clothes, like whatsoever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's it's too contaminated. But sometimes like, uh, mm, uh, mm, yeah, okay, whatever it is, I cannot go out with my jeans, and then, no matter how tired I am, I cannot go on, on the bed and sleep with my jeans. Cannot. Until you shower, right? Until you shower, change your new yeah, new I have to. Of clothes. I have yeah. to. Yeah, my my, I mean, my I have my family members also are all practice this. My cousins are all very OCD. If I were to go out with my out clothes, outside clothes, and I accidentally sat on their bed. You they feel would, bad, right? No, they would change the whole entire bed sheet. Ah, yeah, yeah. And uh-huh. they will make me watch them wash the bed sheet, sheet. and oh, they look at yeah. me. You see what I have to do now? I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I have friends who like don't really care. Okay. Yeah. Ew, it's f- yeah, uh, legit. Fudge, fudge. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Yeah, so I'll be like, huh? Wait, you mean you can just sleep? Like you go clubbing at night and then you just pass on the bed with those clothes? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. It's so smelly, but they seem used to it, So I mean, yeah. who am but, I? To but I, I, again, going back to the best sleep ever. Uh, obviously, a lot of things kind of affect how you sleep. Okay, yes. the environment. Yes. I would always think that temperature is one of the main key factors. Lighting as well. Obviously, your lighting has to be warm lighting. Oh, mine is sets. must pitch black. Oh, must be pitch black one. Yeah, la. I cannot. Little bit light. I. Oh, I I used to sleep black. with the light on, yeah. which is a little table table lamp, which was uh uh warm until I was like maybe thirteen, because mm-hmm. I was afraid. Yeah, oh, I cannot. I, I need cannot. like. But now can you sleep with the lights on? No, I cannot. I can. I, need, I can. I, need, I can I need, still. Like, act- Actual like like pitch black. My yeah. daughter could not sleep with the lights off for six months. Oh, so you were forced to like. Yeah, sleep we were forced to, yeah. to to sleep with the lights on, and then um what else ah? Uh, I know this. I know this fact. Blue like like what like what he was saying right. If your yeah. house ah uh, uses oh, like. daylight, daylight bulbs meaning the one like very very look very blue like that uh, it's not very good to go to sleep. 
Mm. Yeah, because they the daylight will like mess with your circadian rhythm and it's like, oh, it's still daytime. Okay. Yeah. Is that why yeah. hospitals have like really bright exactly. lights? Exactly. It's why they, hosp- need, they need to concentrate. Hospitals, That's officers. They have really bright lights, really like really They will use like blue lights. the white, the really white, right. white bluish lights. They will use all this kind of thing. But if you look like restaurants and cafes and all, right. they use the co- more calming, like yellower, warmer lights. Correct. Okay, you know what's the best part about going to sleep? Is when you get to hug your toto. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, that is the best thing ever. Okay, we got a. Yeah, we got, a we got one there. person who's got a shark over there. Who knows don't don't bluff. That's here, not your Banta Busso. I saw that at one of the IKEA corners. Where you bought it, is it? Oh, you. The house one. I mean, oh, okay. okay. I mean, you can buy and then make it into a Banta, Banta Busso. Busso. Yeah. How, so, how does one make one. Correct. How, how, what's the scent of a Banta Busso? Your scent, lah. It's made oh. out of your What's the sweat, scent like? It's personalized tears, to your, your nose. Yeah. How does it smell like if you could like it's describe know, it? You try to smell? It smells like, like death. Heaven. heaven. It smells <laughs> like heaven. <laughs> it smells like heaven. It smells have like- Have you ever, mm. would you wash your cho like once home. you have the scent? No. So, Can la, you don't wash so, one. Sorry. Oh, so, you're extra stinky one. Eh. Oh my yeah. God. You you will, I don't understand grow, okay. this. At least wash it. La. I don't understand this. You can this. grow the smell back. You one, cannot you know. wear your outside clothes for your bed, but your cho-cho, you haven't washed your cho-cho for three years. <laughs> wait, wait, you two are wait, damn wait, disgusting. Wait, 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 I wash, I wash, I wash. I need wow. to debate this. Cho-cho, right? It's made out of your clean clothes, ma. When you hug the time, you're clean, right? No, 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 no. But you say scent, Sorry, Yeah, so it's made out of your scent. True, I cannot defend you on this. By accident, right? The cho-cho, when you sleep, it lands on your butt. <laughs> so, but it's in a fart. safe place where you hug it. Yeah, you don't bring your, it no, out. But your butt is not that clean, you know? Like, <laughs> What if midway your through sleeping, you feel, like, you feel like... You feel like you see, this is why, right? People who don't have a butter poso, right? They will never understand. Yeah. Okay, I used to have... I used to have a... Uh, 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 okay, it's not a bant... Banta is the, that little pillow, right? Pillow, used, whatever. I used, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ta- I used to have a towel. Oh yeah, it counts. It yeah. counts. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Do you use that towel to shower and then sleep with it? No, 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 oh, no. Okay. That's the best. So thing. I use <laughs> bacteria. <laughs> What's up? So the, the yeah, having a rave in there. <laughs> so the towel that I had, right, the edges are a very thick one, and I like to run it through my fingers to give that sensation. Okay, I don't know how to explain. It. <laughs> That's damn weird, right? My mother wanted. I can run it through if you want. My, no, <laughs> <laughs> my mother didn't want me to have it because apparently it was very disgusting. So she pack up with the doctor because uh, one day I had some warts in my hand, you know. Oh, it's hundred oh, percent from, from the towel. No, 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 it's not from that. No, it's not from that. Virus. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, it's a bacteria infection. infection. It's bacteria. It's a bacterial infection. Yes. So she went to the doctor, pack up with the doctor, and to tell that is because I was using the that that blanket and sucking my thumb. From then on, I, n- I I did not touch it ever oh, again. Damn, you lost a buddy for life, yeah. man. Then then I was like, okay, that's it. I, that was I think I was like six years old, six years old, So mm. I slept with. Probably just a, a hugging pillow. That's it. The big hugging pillow. Ah, the body pillow. La. Yeah. When I was six years old, it was like two times my size. Yeah. La, right. Then until I met Michelle. I mean, Do I dated. I dated she's I, the body I, pillow. I dated a, a couple of <laughs> girls oh, before her. Oh. Right. Then when I met oh, Michelle yeah. and one day, uh, you know, we've been dating for about a few years already. And then after that, we went for a holiday. Right. And then after that, <laughs> we were we were staying at a hotel, and all of a sudden, uh, we, when we, go to, when we were about to go to bed, she opened up her suitcase and she opened up a zip zip, and she took out this brown looking thing, and I was like, oh, I was like, she oh, it's about to <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and it, it, <laughs> what is it brown? She shat on it. <laughs> it was no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It was in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> okay, you understand why she put it in a Ziploc bag, right? She's trying to contain the smell. She exactly. What? The smell. Yes. Yes. She what? unzipped. What? I cannot she, look at you the same way anymore. Yo, <laughs> she unzipped. All she, the same way. This is another she level. Uh. She unzipped the Ziploc bag, and I'm like, "What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you you want to smell? <laughs> yeah." And she's like, "Oh, it's uh, is my. I, I don't think she called it chocho. I can't, I can't remember like, My my banta buso la, Something. I can't, she called it something else. And I'm like, "It was a Power Ranger." <laughs> It was a uh, you know Power Rangers got pink Power Ranger green uh. got whatever these are all the Power Rangers were brown. Okay. <laughs> Wait, how is she? She has one only, right? Oh, she got a few. She got one lah. Oh, I'm gonna okay, kill okay. you when you expose the secret. Yeah. Like <laughs> Wait, is, is this still in your house right now? No. Uh, okay. Do you have a picture of it? I you know. have a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. You have. <laughs> have. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. God. Legendary I, okay. Brown Ranger. I don't know. We don't know where it went. Huh? Yeah, for some reason, it disappeared. It's probably in her old house. La. After we shifted out, it's in her old house or somewhere. La. But there was one time, right? I took it and I put it in the washing machine. She, <gasps> she did not oh. you didn't. She did not speak to me for <laughs> she did not speak to me for two days. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, but, but, but then again, after a while I got used to it. 
But it's so funny. Every time they argue about me being unsanitary or uh, unhygienic, and I'll be like, "Look at your bantabos." And it's funny, you know. I think it's like it's like a family thing because her and her sister, her sister, is a pharmacist. Okay, and she's like, oh, "Whatever drugs you need, whatever diagnosis, or like if today I like hot you, she's like, okay, take this thing. If I'm not eating, but I'll take, but I'll take, blah blah.'" <laughs> After that, she she comes up with that banta buso. I was like, you know what? You're a pharmacist and you have a banta buso, and you want to talk about bacteria, bro? It is a culture. It's a lifestyle. Do you still have it? Of course, I have two. You have <laughs> two. <laughs> I'm sure. I am very sure there's yeast on it. <laughs> We so need so it, we need to send I mean, lab. so far I'm the okay. Yeah. If you put water, right? So much, it, if you put water, it con- swims. No, confirm kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> if you put water, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Buso, confirm kombucha. Maybe, right. yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay, okay. I explain like bata buso. Okay, one okay. is the the hugging one. Yep. Yeah, the 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 long one. The big hug, one, right? the big one. Mine's small, It's not very small. Ah, it's like middle size. The other one is a. Uh, it's a, a pillow, a pillow. pillow. Yeah, it's a flat pillow. It's a small one. So every time I sleep on like a normal pillow, right, I have to put it on top of that pillow. Because the cotton is gone, that's why. No, like when I sleep, because <laughs> I sleep sideways, right? So my banta buso is on top and then <clears> the <throat> normal pillow is on the bottom, the big one. So whenever I sleep on the side, my hands must be like in between. Oh, so I sleep okay, like okay, that. Okay. I get it, I get it. What happens if yeah. I got rid of your banta buso today? We won't be friends anymore. Oh. Whoa. Let me explain to you why <laughs> your banta buso turns brown. So, <laughs> do you need to answer? <laughs> no, no, yeah. What else no, turns okay, brown no, in the no, body? There's, there's a science, there's a science hey, behind a it. A lot of memories, you know. You know when you're sad, you cry, it all lands on your... And then you don't wash it, so your tears are still in the banta where was the last? Yeah. Where was the last time you washed your banta buso? Wait, by wash, you mean like the pillow or the... The sheet that is like both. Uh, wash both, whatever. I don't wash the pillow lah, but the sheet is like maybe once every six, seven, eight, nine. Have you years. ever run your banta? Sorry, once ever six six years ah. I don't know. Okay, so like a few years ago, like maybe four years ago. Yeah. Because my banta puso right, the cup, the sheet right. What you call it? The death. What you call it sheet. Okay, whatever the sheet right. Fungus. My yeah. my my grandma made it for me, so it's oh. customized because it's like it's not a universal size. Okay. Yeah, so I've had it for like many many years, ma. So that that sheet right kind of like tore apart, so I had to go and buy a new one and replace it. But oh. ever since I replaced it, I never washed really lah. So it's like how, marinated how, how, again. How, how, marinated. <laughs> uh. Marinated again. So 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 okay. I know I know we're running out of time because like producers are like. Stop talking about this, but uh, uh, okay, here's the reason. So the other day, I actually got my mattress all clean, you know. Uh-huh. And this guy came in, came in with all his gatang, la, all his equipment and stuff like that. And he's, he was very patient. He started explaining to me why, uh, that, that all of our beds, uh, sometimes why you get bed bugs and mice and stuff like that. When we sleep, we actually shed skin. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, we do. Yeah, yeah we do. A skin. lot of skin. Yeah. A, a lot, lot of skin. A lot of skin. You don't realize it, but um, I think. Beautiful butterflies. <laughs> We're like, yeah, we're like snakes, you know, we wake, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I can't remember when was, he did, we did ask him like, when is the best time to actually go? To, okay, so it's not good, he said like, it's not good to take a shower then go to bed. Oh. Because your skin is damp and then it oh. sheds easier. You should take a shower and then let your skin all dry, dry. up so that it doesn't fall out more. So you need to stand up basically, right? Yeah, kind of dry yourself because a little bit. Because if you technically sit down on the chair, the sofa, your dead skin also will be in the sofa. So you just stand up. La. Yeah. I'm well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. good at standing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because when he washed my mattress, like, Whoa, la, wait, it's like all black, you know. Then, then, then he's like, you oh, see, you see. Maybe that's why the chocho is what. Yeah. Okay, but there is a way, okay. You don't have to wash your chocho. You just put it out in the sun to let it like soak a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what Michelle does too. Yeah, she says, okay, it. the sun kills the bacteria. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. you then don't if, wash oh, it. If we get uh, it, like a virus infection, we everyone stand, stand in the sun, sun only. La. La. Yeah. <laughs> but then I we get skin cancer no, 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 after no, no, that. No, 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 no. You see people with Banta Buso, right? We are more immune to like diseases and stuff. You know why? Because we are so I used want, to want, the oh bacteria. God. I want to God, no. I don't want to talk about the Banta Buso anymore. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> any, anyways, right now, uh, we kind of want to bring up a guest and uh, this person is actually well with the Kaya, and she calls herself the sleep expert. So, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in the room. Okay, I don't have to press. I don't have to press the sound effect uh, for the clap because everybody's gonna clap right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for Asma. <laughs> Welcome to the show. We see. Oh, she's got a nice sleeping robe. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Have a seat. Have a seat, Asma. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. Welcome to the show. Hello, everyone. Hi. 
Hello, my tell, t- tell us a bit about yourself. You are the sleep expert, are you? Uh, yeah. So first of all, thank you for having me. You guys have been amazing and funny um, throughout this. I, week. I hope so. Are you guys having fun? You guys. Oh. Thank you. Because it's you know it's like pillow talk right now. I see it. Oh, pillow talk. Uh, like minus pillow the talk sad like stories, lah. But okay, some kind of pillow <laughs> talk. Yeah. So yes. my name is um, Asma Juliana. And I'm the sales associate here in IKEA Damansara. And just a quick, um, I feel like because I work in IKEA and I feel like obli- obligated to um, correct you guys when you say just now, I heard you guys pronounce this as H. Oh, the drink, the can, yeah. Yeah, so it's actually pronounced as H. Hey. 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 There we go. So it's H2O. Hey oh. I'm going to get my, I'm going to just pop open a H2O <laughs> hey right now. Yeah. Oh, the ASMR. Nice, nice. Okay, let me drink first. Up. Is that a hey to O? Yeah. Ooh. Hey. hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, thank you so much for having us. And thank you so much for actually um, allowing Mama Sessions to do its first live show. Because um, it's something that we've been toying around for the past two years when we first started this podcast as a joke. And we started releasing uh, episode after episode after episode. And now we are actually broadcasting here in Ikea Damansara. So thank you very much. Nice. And thank you to everybody else who made this happen. Yay. Yeah. Bring us so back. I'm like the like the first ever guest for a live show. Yeah, you are. Show? You are. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're I nervous won't. or not? Because I'm about to ask you a lot of questions now. Ooh, um, yo. What's your horoscope? <laughs> uh, Sorry, okay, not really. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, cancer. Oh. oh, okay, okay. So, okay, I can please introduce you, you. You work for IKEA, but yeah. anything else you want to tell us about yourself? You're the sales associate here, uh, sales and associate. They, they they basically tell, say that you are the sleep expert. Why? Wow, because you know here in IKEA we like to uh, make you feel comfortable and make you feel like you want to be able to sleep all day long, mm. like that. Okay. All day long, ah. Uh. All no, me not all day long. All day long. All, all, long, night, all day long. long. I wouldn't mind. All night long. <laughs> I just cu- just curious how many people have actually tried sleeping on the mattresses here in IKEA. We actually encourage you guys to test it out, like how you would do at home. Oh, really? Actually, yeah. So when you say that working at home, even after the show, we can come here and just sleep here after hours. Cannot lah, of course lah. The, the more the more security will kick you out. So that means like you actually encourage people to actually sleep in the beds. Yeah. Is there a time when, limit? Um, I mean. Uh, not really. I mean, not to go like the full on eight hours here yeah, yeah, because yeah. that would be crazy. Um, but you actually have to day. try it out for like, I mean, a best 15 minutes. Or like how you would actually do it at home. Yeah. Like try it out here because that's how you actually know. Like, is it it's comfortable true. for you or it's not? True. It's yeah. very right? true. To find the right bait, I tell you, it takes a lot of trial and error. And oh, it's expensive. Yeah. It's an expensive trial and error. It's an investment, actually. It's, right. an, investment. So it's an investment yeah. of your own well-being. You have so many true. baits for you to try. Take one whole day if you're going to shop for baits here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but we encourage you to do that, actually. Oh. Can I just say, the sofa bait is super comfortable. This one? I had the no, IKEA like, sofa bait right, for like the past 10 years. Yeah, I think. So you sleep on a sofa bait, you don't sleep on a bait? Uh, I used to sleep on a sofa bed, but we changed it recently. Like but I used to have bed, it. Right? Yeah. Not a sofa bed. Like I mean, I keep it permanently as a bed, so, la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one in my room. Oh, you, you seen it? Yeah, all of yeah. my pillows at home are all from IKEA. Right. So I have the harder one for my head, but the really soft ones that I fight to take from my wife. The really fluffy ones uh, mm-hmm. to basically uh, hug la, to sleep. Shout out IKEA pillows, by the way. They are like quality really good pillows i'm not saying this like for reals though yeah, like, I yeah love for reals pillows. It's yeah like actual like feather inside and stuff yeah. yeah so so that's that's what we what we sleep with so um why okay so here's the next question why is getting a good night's sleep very important well it's basically because we spend um one third of our lives actually sleeping oh yeah so we want to do that in the most comfortable way possible and because sleep is actually good for your mental and physical well-being yeah, you guys, because when you sleep, it's like your that's when your body really rejuvenates and stuff, and then so when you wake up, so it can feel good to go all day long, and for mental as well, mental health is very important. Oh yeah, mm. so you don't want to wake up and feel like you want to kill somebody for the day. Oh. That's not good. Yeah. So it's good for that, and then it's basically for overall your health is very important. Do you, do you have a sleep routine? Sorry, Jin, sit st- straight there. Oh, oh, sit straight there. <laughs> 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 That's a good. The producers, I keep holding up play cards, you know, because, you know, I'm not 
good in looking enough. But okay, okay, we were talking about sleep routines earlier on. Yeah. What's the best sleep routine in your in your opinion? Basically, what you want to do is like you need to wind down and take a warm bath like thirty minutes before. How like warm? How many warm. degrees? Oh, it depends on how you like it. I think <laughs> my Dude, body and is in very 16 similar. degrees. Is it? I think you need very warm, very, very warm hot water. Bro, hot water, bro. Correct. I need to turn the water on it, until the glass is all formed up. Yeah, your up. body the same. So if you swap one day, I think I'll feel comfortable. But if I swap with Shufi, I think cannot. Because <laughs> okay, no. I still have to see the cho-cho, I better not swap. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, okay. I, I know, sorry, you were saying asthma? Yes, you were saying asthma, yeah? Mm. Yeah, routine warm bath, yeah? Yeah, take a warm bath, like really relax yourself, like wind down from that. And then maybe like, um, if you guys like reading, like you can do some reading, some really good, nice I reading. hear I hear somewhere that read, some people tend to not encourage reading before sleeping because it basically stimulates the mind and gets you thinking and that's why you can't wind down. I mean, if you guys like read horror stories, that, that's uh, right. Unless you oh. read like Sajara book or something. Like yeah, yeah. I read, I re- yeah, yeah I read, I mean, the only book that I read... <laughs> I mean exactly. They, yeah. True. True. Maybe you could do that. Like maybe get some sajara. So n- like next to my nightstand, there I always keep like my form five sajara yeah. book. What? Ooh. No la, no la. Right. The, I mean, the only Good book tips. that I read before bed is Facebook. So you know. Oh my god! You're still on Whoa. Facebook. <laughs> oh man, nobody's bro, laughing. Bro. Dang it! I tried so bro. hard. I tried sorry. so hard. On get behalf of times, aspect bro. ratio, I am so sorry for my <laughs> bosses. But that's a joke. good one, dude. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, sorry, sorry. Back, 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 back to business. Okay, okay. What are some of the preparations uh, before bed that can help us sleep well? You were saying warm bath. What else? Warm bath, and then um, basically, I mean, this is what this is not really good for. I know we do it all the time. It's to limit the screen time. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. So make sure you like take the phone off, put it on the side, or put it on like the next room if if it's possible. Mm-hmm. Because for the blue lights, that's not good. Like we all know that, but we. Um, of course, obviously, we would do that and like swipe. I, I know Joseph's stuff. routine before bed. It's it's phone time because mm-hmm. this is the only time he replies me. <laughs> 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 I'll message you the whole entire day after twelve oh five. Hey 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 man, sorry, <laughs> I was busy. Yeah. Correct, correct. So okay. we will always ask each other, do you miss me or not? Good night, BB. Okay. Uh, what factors affect the quality of our sleep? Mm-hmm. Would you say air quality? Because I have bad sinus. Who has sinus here? I've, right, we have extremely yeah. bad sinus, and I w- if let's say the air quality is bad, the next day I wake up confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. yeah. That's why my house last time used to be called an orchestra because it'd be like, <laughs> hard to you know, it's like a three D surround sound. So, so what 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 are the factors uh, that will affect quality of sleep apart from air? Air quality, temperature. Oh yes, temperature. Like you guys were saying, like how you would sleep. Like for me, it's I like it to be cool and then not. And then the aircon has to be turned off because okay. I can't have it all night because I get grumpy because it's very cold. Because we're Asian, ma. So we want, like, you know, for me, it's just like, keep passing in. I see, I see. Yeah. No, no, earlier on, right, I kind of I mentioned about uh, Akea's uh, line of products or, like, you know, they basically pledge to make sure that everybody sleeps better, you know, mm. a better quality of sleep. And then there were kind of pointers that I kind of wanted to bring back. They talked about comfort, lighting, temperature, air quality, noise, and also colors and furnishing. So yeah. it, there are products that basically uh, represent every single category over here. Mm-hmm, we sure do, yeah. yeah. This is my favorite part, <laughs> the product placement. Yeah. <laughs> This is the product well. placement, guys. But no, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so comfort, obviously, is your mattress and your pillows, lah, right? Yeah, so we have it. We call it the six elements of sleep. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. We should, we, should, we should whisper so that you know, everybody gets that ASMR before they go to sleep. Podcast is also a very good way to sleep, by the way. Yeah, you have this person talking there and you fall asleep. Okay, yes. So Mama Session is a great podcast. Thank you very much. It's sleep. Good. Yes. Okay, yes, good sleep. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, you were saying the six elements. So yes. the comfort, the first thing is comfort, yep. which is all about being comfortable and being um, really cozy up and nice which is um, I would say the closest one to your skin Okay. which is uh, everything that you touch that's basically comfort which is the mattress but not only the mattress the pillows the your sheets as well that's not everybody um, sleeping really sleeping position as well sleeping position some as well some people with sensitive lower back mm. would want to sleep to the, the side a little bit more yeah, yeah. the yeah. thing do you, do you sleep on the back or the side? side? side I like to sleep on the back I end up snoring a lot. But when you sleep on the back like that, it's actually n- not very good no? for the lower back. I'm oh. actually a uh, besides of a uh, besides being a useless content creator, I'm actually <laughs> a strength coach. Okay, guys, so I'm here to teach you the best sleeping position if you have lower back issues. So, um, you sleep to the side like this. 
Okay, I'm trying. It's I'll, very I'll, hard to see, lah. So yeah, just yeah. Try to you see what side basically? Turkey okay, that's so like a bit of side behind you, though. Yeah. Okay. So okay, so jo- so Joseph is basically saying that's that we how need I to sleep. use the bigger use a pillow to basically support your leg, lah. Yeah, your leg. So oh, that's, that's, that's the best. That's that's how I sleep too. Yeah. yeah, and I feel more comfortable that way. Correct. Yes, it it puts a lesser stress on the lower back. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. you breathe a lot better in that position as well. Wait, off topic, but is snoring bad? Uh, depends again. Snoring can be a lot of factors as well. Could be your nose. It could be, um. Your weight? Can it be your weight? Can be your oh, weight as weight? well. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's, it's a lot to do with lifestyle okay. or sometimes medical as well. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Well, I feel like majority of guys they snore, right? Yeah. I I do, but my one go. My one goes beep 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 beep. beep. <laughs> <laughs> my baby, my baby snores. Yeah. It's oh. like the cutest snore ever. I have it on my phone, but I'm not gonna play it lah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the little. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Oh. <laughs> Damn cute, man. Good funny, good funny. Yeah, <laughs> me, me, and Michelle were just kneeling down at the side of the bed and watching Chloe snore the whole entire night, and, and we're like, "Don't laugh, don't laugh. She'll wake up. She'll wake up." So sorry, you're running off sorry, topic yes, again. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, comfort light. Ah, okay. The next one is lighting. The next one will be lighting. Lighting is not just your lights. Yep. But it's also like using blockout curtains. Oh. And. and yeah, so that um, when you have like really um, you're close to the window and it's like lights on it, so it's better to have like a blockout curtains that really block out and like make the entire room. Is that curtains out. that reflects UV rays here? Because we know UV ray is very harmful to the yeah. skin. Is there such right. a thing? Is there such a thing? There is such so a basically thing. Basically, it's blockout curtains. Yeah, that's block what they that, do. So it's UV. Block. Ra- it blocks yeah. UV rays yeah. as well. Yeah, blackout see? curtains are. Correct. Yes. Blockout curtains. Yes. Oh, that's the one behind oh, us. Yeah. You see. Oh. I think this is a blockout curtain. Lower oh. your risk of, of skin in, uh, skin cancer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But you know, curtains. I have this friend, right? Yep. Like, I think he likes to sleep in the dark. But the thing is, right, when he wakes up, he wants to be able to have the sunlight right, right in his face. Oh. Like, uh. Right when the sun comes out, right, he likes it when it hits his face. Is your friend up. a cat? No, he's not. But he <laughs> likes it that way. So he keeps his curtains open. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you don't, you don't have to. Patterns. You can buy like those smart curtain things. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Timer? And oh. yeah, the timer at like 7 o'clock. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. the birds will start. We have it here. And then you wake up. Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. product reveal! Thanks for the sponsorship, okay? Yeah, before they chase us out. Um, okay, I want to ask this one uh, because in this uh, in this section over here, it says temperature, and it says that uh, IKEA cooling uh, IKEA cooling range. You have an IKEA cooling range. What is your IKEA yeah. cooling range? So we have some sheets that okay. it's very cool. Like if you just want to buy some sheets, it's called Rex Begonia. Mm-hmm. That is, um, so it's just basically sheets of like cooling pad so oh. that you put, it's either you want to put on your pillows or you want to put on your mattress so that it's feel Oh cool. my God, that's yeah. the best thing ever because you know how when you sleep, the pillow becomes warm, you flip yeah. the pillow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You change now it to the other side. Need to, no, right. so you just yeah. buy that. Sorry, I have that, I have that at home. Yeah, and also we have awesome. some cooling pillows as well, cooling yes. mattress pads. Mm-hmm. So we have a lot of cooling range here that you guys can check out. So do you recommend 16 degrees tree fans I all think, night long? I think being cold is very subjective. Yeah. yeah. As long as the temperature is cold, you feel cold, it should be easier for you to sleep, I think. Correct or not? Yeah. So the ideal Asma, temperature... Asma, do you have an extra place for me? I want to be an... I want to be a sleep master now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can. This is like basically you, an course, interview for a career correct, now. Asma, you I, can jump in. I here. have a lot to learn from Wait, you. What if, okay, what if like... Like what Jean said, right? Yep. Let's say you like the temperature a certain way and then your partner likes the temperature a certain way. So how do you compromise? Break up one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sleep in two rooms. Oh. <laughs> one so sleep on the couch. Oh. Eh? There, there, there was one time that Michelle had to kind of give in and let me sleep 16 degrees, three fan. And then after that, she got really angry and I gave in. So she wanted 26, I wanted 16. So we ended up 21. Oh, that's I still too cold for her knowing this woman. <laughs> yeah, and, and I told her, and this okay, I'm not lying. I came to IKEA, I bought the thickest uh, quilt. Mm-hmm. So, not quilt, sorry, the com- com- oh, comforter, duvet, la, right? Yeah, duvet, the yeah. thickest. Yeah. La. I said, nah, I buy this, okay? She's like, no, I'm too warm. Then, when you complain, <laughs> you know, so she's like, ah, can I make up her mind? La? But, you know, uh, it's 21 now. And then, after we had the second child, I went up to 22. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She, she's she's gradually pushing it, uh, she's pushing it without it, right? you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Sometimes I. S- is it triple fan 21 or single fan? Two fan. 
Wow, okay lah. Yeah, actually, right, here's a hack, okay? Because sometimes, right, okay, I do this all the time lah. When she puts it at 22, right? When she falls asleep really, right? I'll come in, I'll tiptoe, and I'll take the aircon control, and I'll change the temperature. But her hearing is so sharp. Every time you hear T, she wake up, what you do? I'm like, oh, <laughs> dang it. But <laughs> yeah, so here's a hack that I do, okay? So basically, I turn the air conditioning on. Oh, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. giving away my secret. I hope she doesn't listen to this. So I turn, the air, I, I turn the air conditioning, 16 degrees, three fan, okay? Then your controller, the infrared part, you close it. Then you oh. turn it back to 23. <laughs> and then that, you put it you put it to 23 and two fan then you put the controller next to her so then after that she walks next to the controller look at it mm. okay then she goes to sleep like, <laughs> yes <laughs> i win yeah, yeah that's a good one though then after that's that she wakes up hey why so cold one and then she, turn, she turns it to 24. yeah oh well that's how it is sorry we are going off topic again but okay i know we have uh limited time because our producers are holding up a sign card saying wrap it up but okay uh air quality you sell uh ikea sells air purifiers we do and yeah. we also sell live plants as well i oh. heard yes. the air purifier comes with a speaker we have one i think we have one that comes with a speaker oh and and okay uh, for noise you have soft furnishing absorb sounds that can help minimize noise yeah so something like carpets ah, nap textiles and okay oh. and of course colors and furnishings goes without explanation lah you know um, you have the all ambience around the range and sizes and mm. everything to make your uh, Ooh, sleepy yeah. your sleepy corner the most cozy place mm. for you to fall asleep again hey don't do that like, enough, like. <laughs> <laughs> stop yeah but okay that's, that's about it so you know whatever your sleep pattern may be you can find uh, whatever suits you here in Ikea and of yep. course, once again, uh, Akia is having this sleepover one night only across the nation. And uh, we want to thank Akia for having us here for the very first time. We're broadcasting live, Mama Sessions live in Akia Damansara. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. You guys have been an amazing crowd. And uh, we hope we can do this again. Lah, huh? Please invite us back again. Sure, of course. Yeah. We'll do this every year. Okay, yes, okay. and uh, for the rest of you here, enjoy your sleepover. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure you. Uh, Insta story as much as you can la. I don't think you'll get this opportunity again la, to sleep over at the care. And uh okay. Can, uh, but you might get arrested the next time. Or just work here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm working here, guys. All right. Master, yeah. Yeah. Sleep master. Sleep master. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for tuning into the show. You can uh, stream us on Spotify. You can stream us in Google Podcasts. You can stream us on uh, YouTube. YouTube. Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. I've said it all again. Yes. And I, I just like to say again uh, for those of you listening and streaming us uh, during your rush hour. We have now hit 2 million streams And uh, it is because of you guys uh, Who are making this possible for us Going places And we're here in Akira Damatara Who knows where we're going to go next So yes The music is going to go on for a while That's why I'm trying to talk until the music oh. starts Yeah So what are your qualifications to be a sleep master? Um, basically you like to sleep <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I qualify <laughs> <also. laughs> Do you have a bantau busuk? No I do. <laughs> <laughs> Is the okay. song almost done? Or yeah, it's done? almost done. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, guys. We'll speak to you guys next time. Let's give the Mama Session a round of applause.